Hey everybody, thanks for joining me on my channel, Outside with Jeff. Today we're going to be discussing growing watermelons in containers. Now, I know a lot of people like to container garden, be just because they don't necessarily have the backyard space, but uh, I just, I have plenty of backyard space to grow watermelons, but I wanted to try something new, uh, mainly because I wanted to test it out for everyone out there who might not uh, you know have the time or, or might not be willing to waste the space in a container to see if it's feasible but here I have it's a about 18 by 18 planter box and it's about 20 inches tall maybe 18 inches tall or so and what I've done is in a uh, five five dice pattern I've planted some sugar baby seeds now as you can see I have two three four five six seven eight nine seeds that have come up the tenth one I just pulled now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let these go ahead and start to vine a little bit and then I'm going to mulch them about a half inch of mulch in there to retain the moisture because I think that's gonna be the main problem this is not gonna be organically fertilized because uh, this isn't my garden soil this is some compost out of the compost pile and just a little bit of topsoil and I haven't really been building this soil up that's in this container so I'm going to use miracle Grow uh, on this just to make sure that the watermelons have all the nutrients they need but with watermelons the main thing is since the watermelons mainly water it's making sure that they have enough moisture to grow so I'll be you know mulching to retain moisture and I'll be watering them daily but uh, yeah join me along while we do this little experiment to see how the container watermelons go and I'll just walk you over here to the other watermelon. Now one thing I've noticed is the container watermelons I planted them a week later than I planted these and they don't really seem like they're a week behind. They do seem like they're a little bit less than a week behind honestly. I just weed it here, so there's a little bit of grass and debris everywhere. But it seems like since it's in a container, they're heating up a little bit more. There's one of the seedless ones. They are slow to germinate. I'll tell you what, they'll make you lose your patience, those seedless watermelon seeds. But I just want to join you along, uh, have you invite you to join along with me. Uh, like I said, I have noticed that since that container is you know not in the ground it does warm up quicker so you're gonna get faster germination but is that gonna play a problem in the heat of summer you know is that gonna get too hot to where the plants die I don't know we'll have to find out uh, you know if if I think that's a possibility I might have to move that container before it gets too big because once I've got vines going everywhere I'm not gonna be able to move that container without breaking vines and it'll just be a mess so but uh, I've got it on the side of the shed right here. So we'll see what happens. But yeah, thanks for joining me. And uh, it's not too late. I'd say if you're gonna try this on your own, you just wanna, I'm in zone six. Last year I had watermelons planted the first of June and they did just fine. Um, I'd say as long as you got them planted zone six, uh, maybe zone seven if you got them planted by the middle of June uh, Late June you could probably still get a harvest late in the year uh, These I planted like I said a week after My other ones and I'm not sure what date it was, but you can go back and find my video. I posted my seedless Planting video the day after it was done. So I use that for reference, but yeah, have a great day Smash that like button drop a comment down below and be sure to subscribe to the channel. Thank you